All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I guess a couple of you vacationers out there, welcome back to Music Village. And for those out there who are wondering what in the world is DJ Smokey talking about when he says the word vacationers, well, for those who are new to the program around here, besides those who've been watching for the past well over six years, and by the way, something we forgot to mention, this past week, last anniversary celebration we're going to have until the winter. Hard to believe, but it's true. But back to our regularly scheduled program, besides that I can't believe it's not butter moment we just had. For those who are wondering why in the world we said the word vacationers, I think it's time for us to explain to you fans at home with another edition, fifth month edition, of the Music Village Update. And just like we said folks, we're five months deep into this year known as 2020. And my god, the crazy things that have been happening around the world during these past five months, but we are in the month of May. Usually a month we're on vacation, but as of the Tuesday night special, we're here on the microphone. So for the second year in a row, we present to you not only a vacation month episodes of Music Village, Under the Radar, the Indie Radio Arcade, and even a work in progress that will be put in there in certain spots, we present to you a month we are going to call the Month of the Arcade Part 2, Revenge of the 8-Bit. Now, I was going to call it something else like 8-Bit Revenge, but eh, I don't know. We're, it's still a title work in progress, I'll just say that much. But during this month, besides the silliness of what we're going to name it, just like we said, 16, possibly even more shows that will be presented during this month, including, in a rare unicorn-like case, folks, three episodes of the Indie Radio Arcade in one awesome month. And during that month, folks, for the Indie Radio Arcade, I'll tell you this much right now, it will be dedicated to Jason Statham and the wacky and crazy movies he's been in. And let me tell you, one of the movies we're going to present starting as of this weekend will actually be one of his craziest adventures yet. And I got a feeling a couple of you out there know which movie I'm talking about. And if you do, keep it under your hat. Or, you know, tell your friends, because it's going to be a crazy review with a crazy game to go along with it. But besides the Indie Radio Arcade, folks, starting next week for the Tuesday night special, we will do a very special late night Cinco de Mayo Fiesta edition of that said show. Which means, like I said during the Tuesday night special last week, we are going to have to get out our Spanish book and do a little bit of research on how to do an entire intro in Spanish for the Tuesday night special. You know, because it's a traditional thing we usually do for every episode that falls on Cinco de Mayo. And we originally thought it was going to be under the radar, but we were wrong because we miscounted the days in the month of May. Also, besides that, folks, for this month of May for Music Village, in another two weeks, we will be answering your questions at home for another edition of the Music Village Mailbag. Along with that, we will also be reviewing next week the match card for possibly one of the craziest Money in the Bank pay-per-views of all time for Money in the Bank. That will be in the corporate offices of Stanford, Connecticut. And I got a feeling it's going to feature Mark Summers saying, On your mark, good set, go! As they try to race their way up to the top of the building. If he's not featured during this, and they don't have the double dare music in the background, I'm going to figure out a way while I'm watching the pay-per-view to get the double dare theme off of YouTube, play it on my headsets while watching the pay-per-view, and see if it syncs up. Hopefully it does. And besides that, folks, for Music Village, for all the video game stories, 
it will feature some form of arcade-like adventure or video game stories that we wanted to mention during the year, but really didn't have a place to put them. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of weird video game stories saying, Huh? Wait a minute, that doesn't belong there. I thought this was the month of the arcade. What's going on here? Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of that, or, you know, feel a lot of that during this month in the arcade. And alongside with that, folks, for the Under the Radar, and one thing we will reveal of that unpredictable show, for those who ask for the Madness Matinee, it will be making a return during this month of May, which will feature a couple of random movies we'll pick out of a hat and review during this vacation that we're currently on. So with everybody in the NIM thus far of what we got planned that we wrote out last night on a piece of paper while listening to techno music, I think it's time for everybody to kick up their feet, relax, you know, get one of those coconut drinks that I saw during Gilligan's Island, put on your favorite pair of sunglasses, and do what I'm doing right now and just relax and listen to the craziness that we came up with in less than 24 hours for a month with well over 31 days. Which should be exciting, cause yeah, we're thinking outside the box once again for this crazy month. So make sure you join us for it. And I guess with that said folks, I think it's time for us to head back into the music and when we return, we'll be back with another edition of the Friday Night Green Light right after this. So don't spill your coconut drink just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 